Hello bearded bee people. Welcome back to B and K Bees for another episode of Random Inspection Friday. I am here at a near out yard. You see all those dandelions? It's really cool. There's a river right there. It's a really, really nice yard. Um, we have 20, 26 hives here. So I'm going through and assessing problems and figuring out strategies for the near future for these colonies. They are brood builders for nukes, so I'm hoping to see lots of capped brood. <clears throat> if there's not, I'm kind of equalizing between hives. Um, some of these are getting ready to swarm and others are still building up. So rather than going to get equipment and um, making splits, I'm just equalizing so that when I come through here making splits, it, I can pretty much pull from every hive. Um, this one is one of the ones that is not doing quite so well. They're not getting ready to swarm, I would not imagine. I've not seen any of these frames though, so we'll see, but they're definitely not bursting at the seams. I'm also, as you'll notice, framed short in this box. I will have to note that. So date today to instigate build up and brood build up. I'm checkering a lot of frames, marking down which ones could use some more food, putting food on the edges, all that kind of stuff. Assessing queen status, and this one is queen right. See some cap brood there and some eggs around the uh, outsides of that. So we're definitely clean right. More capped brood. Not the most solid brood pattern I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and there's a capped queen cell. So they didn't think that there was, that that pattern was as solid as they would have liked either. So it looks like they're getting ready to supersede her. And I'm okay with that. There is the supersedure cell. I do not uh, say supersedure because of where it's placed on the frame. I put no stock into assessing what a cell is for by where it is at. Um, you see enough cells, you'll see that there's no real rhyme or reason to it. Um, although, yeah, during swarm season, you will see them hanging off the bottom of the frame a lot, but supersedure cells are wherever they can put them um, because usually, by rule, there is not a whole lot of desirable larvae to choose from or otherwise they wouldn't necessarily be wanting to supersede her. So I am making that decision based on how cramped this box is and the answer to that question is not very cramped, not swarm cramped. So I am going to call it a supersedure cell and I'm going to let them do their thing. I almost never recommend pulling cells for any reason. I do recommend trying to figure out what those cells are for um, because you're, you're more a bee haver if you just see a cell and say, oh well, let nature take, take its course. Um, there may be some more uh, required from you. If they're swarm cells, they're, you're either planning on losing bees or you're going to take some extra efforts and those efforts would not be applicable if those cells were supersedure cells. So figure that out and then figure out your plan based on the answer to that question. So um, I am not going to check her quite as much in this. I am going to move the majority of the uh, activity to the center of this box just for better, uh, better temperature control and all that. And it's a little easier to work. I am a frame short in this box. I'm a frame short and unfortunately more than one out here. Uh, somebody thought these frame feeders were two frame replacement feeders and they turned out to be one. So. I like these frame feeders by the way put it in a gallon at a time. 
They're very, very nice. All right. So, as I said earlier, mark down that that is missing a frame and that they are in the midst of superseding. And I will check back in three or so weeks. Um, I'll probably check back before then just to make sure that that hatch to see if uh, I need to add another cell. But otherwise, I would check back in three or so weeks to uh, see that we have a mated queen. Otherwise, I'd have to take further effort or further action. Okay, now I will enter this into hive log later on, but I realize a flaw in the whole hive log plan, even with the um, hands-free note-taking, you still have to have your, what the hell am I doing? You still have to have your uh, phone out and be pressing buttons and all that. First of all, my phone is taking this video and second of all, I don't like to handle digital stuff. I've got sticky beekeeping hands, so I will, uh, I'll do that later when I'm ready to leave this yard. So, I uh, hope that helped you out. You know, maybe uh, you see a similar situation, you realize they're superseding and let her, let them figure it out and come back later on and see your new and improved laying queen. Hopefully, that's the theory anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next week. I hope to get another one up. Uh, I know I have not been very consistent with these RIF videos, but things are, are busier this year than they ever have been in the bee yard. So I'm keeping it. I'm trying to keep the videos coming out. But as of right now, I have to uh, hurry up to get this yard done because we have dark clouds on the horizon. So thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Click like if you liked it. Thanks.